This video will help you getting started with PodPress. I will show you how to set it up, explain the interface and the functions like the knowledge agent and will show you how to finish and publish your chatbot. I recommend first watching this basic video and then watching my other video where I explain on an example how to build a chatbot and publish it on WhatsApp. Before we get started, uh, let's have a look at the pricing of BotPress. So actually BotPress has a really big free plan, which means that you can have 1k incoming message per month before you need to pay anything. And after it, you can choose your uh, plan. You can see here how you can calculate it. So now for signing up, you can actually press up here. But if you would sign up with a link that I provide, I would get a small percentage because I'm affiliate with BotPress. After you signed up, you can see here an interface where you can actually create your chatbot. If you click here on the left for creating chatbot, you can create your first own chatbot. Then when you created it, click on edit and there you can choose how you want to uh, create it. So first of all, start from template and then go for basic template. Now I will explain you the interface. You can always mute this message here. The first thing we need to do is basically creating a standard node. I pressed on right click and now I have here a node which I can feed with informations. I usually go here on add card, which makes here a pop up. Now you can add here any card you want to add. So basically you could put a simple text, you could put an image, an audio, a video, a file, one card and a carousel. A card is basically like a button with for example a picture where you can click on it and then for example there comes another link with a home page. In a carousel you can actually choose between many different images and therefore many different uh, home pages for example. Let's say we put here a text then you would put here on the right side a message to send and this would be a message which the user will get like for example hi I am your chatbot and then when the user uh, chats with the bot it will send him this message. Now I will get you the other basic, basic things. For example, down here is a capture information. These kind of informations are basically all about getting information from the user. The easiest one is basically the raw input, where you ask a question to your user, for example, how old are you? And then you show the user where to store it. That would be here in select create a variable and the bot would put it here in whatever variable you have, for example, age, and now it would be uh, put on age. If you want to give this out later, you could also go here up on text, put it here, and for example, here you would say at age, and then the bot would print it. Now, what is also really important is that you can put here different like you have here a different node with for example another another text or let's say a more advanced execute code which is basically a programmatic code now you want to connect them let's say you are here from start simply drag it here and now you put an expression expression wait we need it up here you connect this expression with your next node and now BotPress will always think when it should go to the next node. Here we don't have any label, we could just click here on expression and when the condition is true we don't have any conditions so it will always go from standard node 1 to standard node 2 and after standard node 2 we could make an expression that it always goes to the end of our bot. This is now a really, really simple one. We can also put here true. These are only the basics, of course. Now I want to quickly explain what else we have on this interface here. Down here, we have some logs, some JSON, where you can also see which kind of flags are set or let's say there is there is a text you have down there 
with your chatbot, then you can always read which kind of variables are in your payload and you can basically use this for debugging. All right, so let's get one step back. So basically here on the execute code, you, you could print in your Java code, but there is also another possibility. Up here is basically an AI field where you could generate your own code using AI. We don't want to do that right now because it's uh, too complicated for such a short time. But for now, we will delete this here and add our, let's call it AI task or our connection to GPT. This AI task is basically what we know from ChatGPT or GPT-4. We have our task instruction, our AI task, and then we can store it as well in a variable. This is a really important task and you will need it if you want to integrate AI into BotPress. Now let's have another look. Here are so-called agents. These agents have different kinds of functions. Let's say there is a summary agent, there is a knowledge agent, and there are translator agents and personality agents. The, all of them have a different kind of field, what they can do, like for example, the personality agent will always answer in a kind of a special way. Let's say you give him a really professional personality and he will always answer in a really professional, of course. Translator, I mean, for sure, he will always translate it. But now let's have a look at the knowledge agents because this is also a function which is really important in my opinion. The knowledge agent can actually understand data you give him. So first of all, you need to give him data, for example, frequently asked questions. So then you would need to add these kind of data to here on the add knowledge base. Let's say our bot shall answer always, let's say for the shipping conditions, and the shipping condition we put in a document for shipping conditions or we put them on the frequent, frequently asked questions. Now we would click here on our knowledge base. We could import a PDF and click here on document or we could click on web search. And that would mean that we would enter here our URL and then our bot press would understand what's basically inside this homepage and could answer according to that. So now I will quick show you how to activate it. So basically you go back. Usually you click here. If you want to answer the bot uh, via knowledge, you would enable it here. And now if the, if the user asks him a question and he can answer from it, he will actually do it from our knowledge. The last step we should do is basically publishing our bot. Like these are the basic features until now. If you want to publish this bot now, you will press here on publish. Then once it's published, you can click here on share your chatbot. And now you have already like an interface where you could chat with a bot, say, let's say hello. But our bot is like not really developed, so it will not really uh, have any function or anything. If we go back, what I want to show you now is basically how to uh, theoretically integrate it in another platform, like for example, WhatsApp. You click here on back to dashboard. I recommend uh, giving the chatbot a new name, like you can put it here on this button. And usually if you want to integrate it somewhere, you're going on integrations, browse in hub, and then you have to enable wherever you want to integrate it. This takes extra steps. Like for example, I did a video on how to integrate it on WhatsApp. It's not really complicated, but sometimes it takes a few minutes to set everything up. And that's basically my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and we see us in the next video.